Hi, I'm Brandon Prior, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is conjugate acids and bases. Conjugate acids and bases are the result of the acid or base dissociating. You get a conjugate acid when a base dissociates, and you get a conjugate base when an acid dissociates. For instance, over here we have hydrochloric acid dissociating into H plus and Cl minus. The Cl minus is the conjugate base. It's basic because it can accept H plus ions. Another relationship to know is that strong acids will produce a weak conjugate base, and weak acids will produce a strong conjugate base. The same is true for bases. Strong base, weak conjugate. Weak base, strong conjugate. You'll need to know that relationship. Next, buffers. Buffers are solutions designed specially to resist pH change, but they still have their own pH, which you'll need to calculate. You do this through the henderson hasselbalch equation. That's pH is equivalent to pKa plus a log of the concentration of your A minus over the concentration of HA. HA is just your generic form for any acid. You might, that A represents your negative ion. Say, stuff like HBr. Here's your H, and here's your A. Br becomes a negative ion. In acetic acid, H, C2, H3, O2. The acetate ion is your, well, that's your A, since it becomes, it's your negative ion. And this is just your H, you see that down here. There's another version of the henderson hasselbalch if you want to cal calculate your pOH. That's equivalent to pKb plus the log of, this time, flip it over, HA over A minus. Now, you can use this to calculate the pH, of course, of buffers. The pKa is defined as the negative log of the Ka. Remember, Ka is your equilibrium constant for any acid in equilibrium. pKb is the equilibrium constant for a base, and pKb would be negative log of Kb. So let's proceed using acetic acid as an example, or vinegar. The Ka for that is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Punching in negative log of that into your calculator will give you your pKa, 4.7. Assuming that you know that in your vinegar you have a concentration of your acetate ion of 5 molar and a concentration of your acetic acid undissociated of 15 molar, you can calculate the pH. Rewrite out the henderson hasselbalch pH equals your pKa, we know that's 4.7, plus the log of your A minus ion, that's your acetate ion, 5 molar, over your HA, undissociated acid, 15 molar, that's your acetic acid. So then 5 over 15 is just 1 over 3, a third. Punch the log of that into your calculator, and you should get about 0.477. So pH is 4.7 plus 0.477. All you need to do is add. And you come up with your pH for your buffer solution. 5.18. That's all there is to it. To recap, conjugate acids come from a base dissociating, and conjugate bases come from an acid dissociating. Like up here with hydrochloric acid, your conjugate base is the Cl- because it can accept H plus ion. Strong acids will produce weak conjugates. Weak acids will produce strong conjugates. The same holds true for bases. Buffers are a solution designed to resist pH change. And you can calculate the pH using the henderson hasselbalch equation. Just pH equals pKa plus log of A minus over HA. Remember that this is just your generic form for an acid. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Preer. See you next time.